Well, we're going to get started. We'll start with Matt and Derek. Go ahead, Matt. Hey, Coach. Good to see you again. You've been working with Patrick since the really the moment that you both guys got to Kansas City. I'm curious, in the film room, how have you seen him develop as someone that can evaluate opponents and evaluate film? And is there any story that you can remember about an incident where Patrick saw something on film and then was able to apply it on the field? Yeah, that's a great question. Pat, Pat does a phenomenal job in the, in, the, in the film room, watching, studying tape, um, you know, very intricate details of, of defenders and or indicators. Uh, one, one example that comes to mind was um, last year against Denver. They had brought one pressure, you know, way, this is, we were playing Denver late in, the, late in the season and they had brought a pressure maybe midway to early in the season. And really it was only one time they had shown it. And we had watched it, you know, we had watched it through, throughout our blitz cut up, but um, you know, them only bringing it one time, Pat was able to diagnose it and they actually brought it in a game. Um, I think we hit Tyreek on the sideline on one of them, but um, he was able to at least see it at post snap, identify it, get the ball out of his hands. Um, it ended up being a big play, a big third down conversion for us. Let's go to Pete Sweeney. Go ahead, Pete. Morning, Mike. I know a lot of folks outside the organization have kind of put a, a spotlight on you as potentially being this this next offensive coordinator candidate. And I, I know that probably comes uh, with uh, a lot of flattery, and, and you're honored for that. I'm just curious, as you learn from Eric Bieniemy and Coach Reed, when you are able to finally get that opportunity, what what type of things have they shown you that that'll stick with you, and that maybe you'll take on when you get that chance? Yeah, I think the, the most important part is. Um, the, the attention to details that Coach Benemy, Coach Reed, they bring to the offense. Um, you know, really no detail is, is, is spared as far as what we want to do on offense from up front, the receiver room, running back room, tight ends, quarterback. So it's very well thought out. Um, you know, it's, it's sound to, um, to the offensive mind. And we put it into where we can give the quarterback answers and allow him to play freely and, um, and give our receivers and, and ball carriers answers as well, you know. So we try to build that into the system. And, and that's one thing I've learned since being here over the last several years is, um, is being able to give the quarterback answers and give our um, skill players answers and within the offense. Let's go to Sarin Petro. Go ahead, Sarin. Coach, uh, I'm curious what, uh, you know, quarterbacks lose. What, what, what's, what's the biggest loss they have? Uh, in particular, your backup guys, right, that are going to get a lot of the reps and, and not having these preseason games. What's the part that becomes the most difficult to, to either get them ready or to evaluate, uh, you know, maybe a younger guy like Tommy? Yeah, the, the, game, the game situations and being out there with the live bullets is, is definitely the, the biggest part um, for a quarterback. I mean, the game, it's, the, it's everything's faster in the game. And so you really can't replicate that um, to a certain extent in practice. We try to, whether it's drills, or, um, you know, giving the quarterbacks, you know, fast mental, mental games and mental uh, drills th th throughout practice to make them think fast and, um, and shoot the ball fast. So you try and simulate that as best you can throughout practice. But at the end of the day, when game game's going and, you know, it's, we're, we're rolling on offense, you got to be able to make quick decisions. So there's, um, it's tough to replicate that in practice. Let's go our last two, Nate and then Herbie. Go ahead, Nate. Hey, Mike. Uh, I wanted to follow up with uh, what Matt asked you earlier. Uh, being a former NFL quarterback, understanding the awareness and the vision you have to have on the field, whether it's watching film of Patrick over this offseason or just in person in live moments, just what impresses you most about Patrick's awareness, given everything that's required from the quarterback position? Yeah, I think, I think Patrick's getting to the point in the offense where he kind of knows – um, where his answers are. He knows where all the bones are buried on the play. So um, he's able to kind of um, anticipate like the counter moves um, within the offense to where, okay, if they're going to, I know that if a defense does this, kind of puts this play in a bind, well, I know my answer is to get out of it. And so I think that's where he's kind of grown the most from last year to this year and going into, going into this year really, is really knowing where, where the bones are buried and in, in the, in the weak spots in the plays are. Let's go to Herbie with the last one. Go ahead, Herbie. Hey, Coach, I'm going to take you back to your playing career. Um, you, oh, you've yeah. had the opportunity to be around the likes of Tom Brady, Adrian Peterson, um, even A.J. Green, your, your stint in Cincinnati. And obviously, they're all mega superstars. You now have one in your own quarterback room in Patrick Mahomes. What are some of the similarities for their mental makeup on, on how they are able to handle 
the, the spotlight that comes with being a mega superstar? No, I, I appreciate that question. You know, and to be, and to be fair, I probably wasn't around those guys long enough um, to really give a great answer uh, to speak on them personally. But I think um, the, the thing that Pat brings is his competitive spirit is, is, is incredible. Um, he, he, I think he's, he's able to lift and build up the guys that are in that huddle, um, build himself up as well with his confidence. Um, I think that right there is um, in, in his competitive spirit, confidence and competitive spirit, that's, that's what separates them and that's what makes them great, I think. Coach Kafka, we appreciate the time today. Thank you. Thank you.